everybody. Welcome back to the birth of night episode four. And well, I made a mistake somewhere. I mean, obviously, somewhere. I mean, look at my life, but I made a somewhere. This computer has a full bar it never had before, and I now managed to get the program on here that's like you need to update 16 things, and I'm like, well, the computer was running just fine without the updates, you know, two days ago, so what do I have to update? But, uh, you know, that, that's just, that's just life as a second-rate computer and a second-rate life. Uh, and, yeah. so, um, I did some exploring, and I found um, these things, which are in insanely horrible. They actually do more damage to me than they do to other things, so I'm uh, I'm not gonna not gonna be carrying those. <laughs> I was messing with the bounty board a little bit as well, and I think I'm gonna do this one at some point, but not not now. We're just gonna stick that in here. Actually, let's put that in the uh, let's put that in the import chest. So I was going to go through and make armor and stuff and upgrade the, uh, the difficulty level, but when I went on my adventure, I found something that intrigued me. <coughs> Excuse me. So I made the reforging station, which all I had to do was go get some obsidian and set up the crucible and junk. I did, I did some of the better with mods junk over here. Um, somewhere along the line, that's fine, I'm not really working with that right now. I'll fix that in a bit. And, uh, yeah. So, I went ahead, and I found some of the mousy mobs on my exploration thing. Not the boss guy, but, um, somebody that dropped this. So, I went and made all this here armor and weaponry. And I think it would be a great thing to wear this and go wreck a, uh, a dungeon. I think that would be a good idea. So, I want to make a, a weapon, and I don't know what my best, I don't really want to use diamonds, because I don't have a lot, and it is hard to, it is hard to find any ores in this here, uh, in this mod pack, or this biome where I'm at. I don't really want to say the mod pack, because that could be completely inaccurate, because uh, when I played before, I didn't have that much of a trouble, but now I am. So, um, I don't know what kind of weapon I want to make. I still have this, but I don't think I have enough ender pearls, so we're not going to do that. I guess we're just going to rock. I guess we're just going to rock the sword and the bow. I guess it's just going to be how it is. <sighs> Sorry, I don't know. I was completely fine just a little bit ago. Now I'm trying to talk and got a, got a little cough little hack. So, um, let's, let's hurt. Um, I got this from one of the, uh, quests. It was kill eight zombies. So we're going to take that with us. I guess that's all we'll really need. Um, and I need a pickaxe because right now I made the belt and I have a stone pickaxe and a diamond pickaxe. And I'm leaving the diamond pickaxe on my belt, because if I die, it doesn't take durability damage. Which is something I'm not entirely sure if the mod people know that. Um, I'm sure that that's not supposed to be that way. Because I think you can get up to like six slots or so on your, uh, on your thing, on your, um, on the tool belt. So I can put like six different items on there. And if I die, they won't take a durability damage. So that's something something to keep note of. Graceful, huh? I, I can I can live with that. So as you can see, my little atlas here, I traveled this way and I found a second village, and that's where I got some of this junk that I got. But this is where we're going. I marked it with a little skull because eh, I'm willing to bet we're probably gonna die. But you know, I said that before, and we made it through, so. You know, no, gonna, not gonna write myself off that quick, I guess. Um, so I want to make, I want some food. 
Where is the food? Here's the food. So I want to take this. I guess we'll take that. And I want to find probably bandages. Is going to come in handy. Because they give you like instant health regeneration. See, there it is. There it is. I downloaded something and now it's like, update, update. And I'm like, no. No, I don't need to update. You need to get the, off my computer. But it, it, it doesn't, it isn't listening. It's not listening. Like the story of my life. Uh, so I need some durable fibers. Um, I'm not too worried about it, to be completely honest. But it, it is annoying. Like, it is very much annoying. And that'll give us some of those. We're only going to take four with us. Because I think there's like, a, there's like a limit on how much you can use them. So, no point in taking too much extra with us. And let's, uh, let's shove off, shall we? We got torches, food, weapons, armor. Let's, uh, let's actually... I don't want to, I want to keep everything in my hotbar because I want it to be like, if I, if something were to happen that I fall to my doom or get, like, hit by an asteroid or something and die, I don't want to lose all my junk and have to go back for it. Uh, one thing that might be a problem is it's already about nighttime, and that is, well, it, it, not really halfway there, but you get my point. I really don't. I don't want to be caught out in the in the dark with a bunch of bad things trying to eat me. But um, last night was another zombie horde raid, so we should we should be fairly safe. Uh, one dimension, besides the fact that they completely wrecked that little that little house at the entrance of my little base, that's a huge deal, but it is a little, little sad. Um, I can't remember what it was I wanted to say. Oh, okay, yeah, there, there's the reminder. Um, <coughs> I popped in here, and a bunch of the goon squad from the village, you know, spawned here. And there was two treasure chests, so that's where I think I got the engraved thunder wand and some different things. I think maybe a manuscript or two. Um, it's a very small dungeon. There's nothing there. There's just something underneath that I don't know about. But I don't know about it, so, you know, that's just, that's just how it is. Um, that's one concern. I'm thinking when we get to this place, it's going to be, like, kind of laggy. Which is going to be a problem, because... If I die and I lose, you know, it's it's a little upsetting and nerve wracking. But if if the computer lags and I die, then I get really mad because you know whenever I die, it's my fault. Yeah, that kind of sucks. But when I die and it's somebody else's fault, that just that just pushes me over the edge a little bit. So um, I hopped on and I was looking. Or some sort of hint on how to get blue orchids. And because I thought they were like like they locked them behind something because they're for they're for a particular sword. It turns out that's not the case. So I once I get um, vines, I can make um, the sword I want to be exciting. Oh no. Why? Why? Um The sword isn't particularly impressive. It's the same rating as an iron sword. I just... I don't know. I see it, and I was like, well, this is mildly simple to make, and I want it, and I just want to make it, so that's what I plan to do. So the last the last iteration of this mod pack, as well as this one, um, I decided to devote the idea of making that sword, regardless of how, you know, menial it actually is. But it'd be cool to have. Now we should be coming up on this this place here soon. I don't want to get swarmed. Hint, hint. So we're gonna approach with caution. Where is it? It's gotta be here, right? There it is. I found one of those mirror mirror places. Those weird uh, fire and ice bugs. And I kind of want to. 
I there's there's a reason why. And don't don't you don't you run and hide from me, you little pansy. Sneaky. Very sneaky. Do you know what I forgot to do? Make more arrows. That's what I forgot to do. And there's the lag. And I'm dead. I can't do anything with this lag. Come on. Ooh, the queen. Okay, well, that's gonna... Don't do a crap ton of damage. I gotta get out of here so I can heal though. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Just relax. We, we, we got this. <laughs> okay, well that was a little bit... It wasn't really that difficult, to be honest. But, there was just, there's just a lot of them. And this bow isn't really doing it for me. I, I've got to tell you that right now. I'm going to end up, like, using all my arrows. And I'm not even putting a dent in this guy. So we're going to... We're gonna do it this way. Now the queen should be the toughest one, but the soldiers are a bit of a problem too. They just keep jumping around everywhere. Wow, that mask didn't have a lot of durability, did it? Okay, so we got the achievement. We got the the kill the bug achievement. It's afraid, and that's pretty good. Uh, I'm kind of upset that my helmet broke already because I literally that was full durability. I mean, I realized we took a little bit of a beating there, but I mean, that it shouldn't have been. I don't think it should have been that bad. Oh well, I'm looking for like. Any, like, egg pods or anything. Oh, so I, I finally installed, I reinstalled Optifind. I, it says it's required, but I forgot to put it back in after I rebooted my computer. And that's what messed me up. Because um, I went to download the new version of Optifine for this mod pack, and I, for some reason it gave me some weird clicker thing that I wanted me to clicker, and I clickered it, and then it kind of kind of put me in a bad spot. Now I have this weird. Look at you! Ain't you adorable? Oh crap. I wonder why so many of these guys have, like, low health.
Okay, well, it doesn't appear like that particular bug wants to attack me. So we can probably get rid of the ones that are a little bit more hostile. Okay. Holy crap, it grew up. Or did this one eat the other one? <laughs> like, I'm a little confused on what happened there. So I don't really know why I'm wasting my time lighting this place up, because I'm probably not coming back here. I think they added this. I don't think this was always like this. I, like, I don't think this was always, uh... I don't think there was this kind of treasure in here. Not that I'm complaining, but... Oh, wow. Some treasure. Well, we'll take it as long as we have space. So I think um, I did mention before I before I ended out last episode that I was going to do um, an episode in the Nether. Uh, well, I found this and this took the place of that. Um, I do want to up the difficulty, but for right now it seems like I, I didn't want to up the difficulty for doing this in case I got stuck out in like in the nighttime and you know had to try to fight my way back because with the, uh, the the mods they have installed, it is rather difficult without good armor. And I might I might chop down a tree to make uh, a crafting table so I can put all those nuggets into bars so it takes up less space in my inventory. Depends on how much more is down here. I'm hoping there's some vines in there, because vines are something that I need. So, we went that way, let's go this way, and then we'll go the, the other way last, because, well, I, I should have marked them with torches, but I got nervous. You know, these are bone blocks, so we're gonna, we're gonna scarf up those. Here's the pods I was looking for. <coughs> Can I vein mine these? That I can. You might as well take these leaves while we're at it. Clear this place out, make sure we don't miss anything. I was thinking about maybe trying... Well, that's a weird thing to have inside of an egg. I was thinking about maybe trying to uh, harvest some of this junk, but I really don't need it. Like, there's not really a, a good a good purpose for me to have it, so. Trying to think what's going to be like. I kind of want to keep the sapling. That's vanilla style, and I might need it for something. I guess I can get rid of this. I can always get more. Same with the carrots. The sugar cane I can grow. Rotten flesh I got a good bit of. And we'll, we'll keep the rest. Eggs might be something that's worthwhile having. Uh, because the eggs, I can maybe happen to spawn in a chicken, and then I'll have unlimited feathers, as long as I, as long as I take good care of it. Because in this mod pack, they have mods to... Ooh, cocoa beans, too. For some reason, I feel like that's important. Um, they have mods to make... Um, To make animals be more needy 
Like they need water, they need sunlight, they need ample space, they need this, they need that. And that's cool. It really is. I kind of like it because it, it makes farming a little more on demand. But it does have some drawbacks as well. Well, the drawback is that farming is, is more on demand. Um... I guess if we need more space, I can get rid of the uh, the bones and stuff. Because I have a pretty good amount of that kind of stuff, too. I try to keep all this. If we get back, I'm going to open all of these intestines that I've been saving up. Um, there is a slim... I, I think. I don't know if they disabled in this mod pack. But there is a slim chance of getting another star from the intestines. Now I think it's like a really stupid low chance of like we have a better chance of walking outside and getting hit by an airplane. But you know, the the chance is still there, right? So you know, and by the way, I am highly disappointed in that bow. I was I was expecting it to at least but then again, these things are pretty armored, so it might not be exactly the bow's fault. You guys keep an eye out for any of those pods. And you let me know. It might be... I, I might miss some. I'm just kidding. By the time you guys see this, I'll already be doing something else, probably. I don't even know if I'm going to upload anymore. Like, to be honest, I haven't even decided if I actually want to continue um, this, this, this stuff. Like... I don't know, I, I like doing YouTube, but I like doing the hands-on stuff. Like, this 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 isn't really my style. And I know it's something weird to say after I've been doing it for so long, but, you know, well, it, it is what it is. So I think we're going to pretty much camp out down here until nighttime is over. Um, maybe I'll harvest a bunch of this junk. I don't know what I really need it for, and I want to see, is this stuff, I can pick it up, what, what is this, <laughs> my mouse is goat, my mouse started doing that now too, that's, that's weird, right, jungle miramex bioluminescence, let's see what you got as a, as a use, nothing, you have no use, oh, well, that sucks, um, and this jungle miramex chitin is supposedly used for armor, but I definitely didn't get enough, so maybe more will spawn. I really don't think any more is going to spawn. Uh, let's, let's check both sides for more of those pods. Maybe we'll get lucky. I do have a little bit of the chitin back at, uh, back at the base, but I think I only have one or two. So I might have to find another one of these to actually make the armor. Which is kind of a bummer, not going to lie. I was hoping to get enough from one nest to be able to make a full set of armor. But, you know, what, what you going to do, right? What is this? This is marble, isn't it? It is marble. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to... I'm not going to waste my time with it. I don't need a building block, per se. It definitely changed just a little bit since RL craft. Uh, usually it has like uh, the resin, full blocks of resin, and uh, more of the pods are at the beginning and the entrance and stuff. But that, that's not the case here. Yeah, I think we're pretty much gonna gonna just uh, kind of camp out here. Uh, I don't want to dive. I think after doing all that, I already lost so many levels from. Well, I blame a lot of it on lag. 
but you know. What is this junk exactly? Sticky jungle Miramix resin. Whoa. Whoa. What is going on? Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I think we're good. I think it's alright. That's gonna be annoying. I keep getting weird pop-ups. Can I not mine this? It's, it's only harvestable with a shovel. Oh, that's disappointing. What about this stuff? Yep, I can only harvest it with a shovel. Okay, so I guess I ain't getting none of that. Let's, uh... I might as well get something else while I have the, uh... I, I'm, I'm just waiting for my computer to straight up explode. I'm waiting for it to just be like, you know, system failure. You know, better luck next time. Bye, pal. And that's what that's kind of how I picture the message to go. Like, get a real job, you bum. Yeah, that's not. I, I never understood why people say stuff like that. You know, like, get a real job. You know, it's not for lack of trying. What are- that is- those are more disgusting than normal. Right, it, it's like, it's not for lack of trying, like, to get an actual job. Is that a starving zombie? No, it's just a zombie with one of those things. Oh no! No! I just slashed a hedgehog with a sword, I think. That is like criminal offense. You're alright, buddy. You don't we don't have to do this. It doesn't have to this doesn't have to end this way. Okay, you asked for it, pal. I I I tried. I tried talking to you. I tried, you know, having you see things my way, but apparently, apparently, you just, you know, you, you just can't, can't take a mistake, you know, just, I, I didn't try to kill you on purpose, I actually revere hedgehogs, they're like my, they're one of my messiahs, like, hedgehogs and turtles are, are like the new world gods or some, something like that, so I would never actually harm you on, intentionally, but, you know, you, you had to carry that out, you had to, you, you had to, you know, you had to facilitate the violence. Alright guys, instead of you guys watching me pace back and forth, I'm gonna end the episode here. It's gonna be a rather short one, but we did something that I wanted to do for a couple, a couple different video iterations of this mod pack. Uh, not ones that you guys will ever see, but... It's something I wanted to go and fight these mirror mixes a while ago, and now we did it. So I'm gonna end uh, the we're gonna end the video here. I'm gonna see what some of this junk's all about, and um, catch you guys next time. Hopefully in the Nether, presumably. So thanks for watching, and later on.